Happy Halloween everybody, I'm the Terrorbox Gamer and welcome back to Vampire. More importantly, welcome back to the horror villain survival discussion that I started in the last video. Now let's see, I'm back here again. God damn it, I've said I'm getting sick of this area. Getting back to the last discussion, we had Jaws, Ghostface, Chucky, and Carrie, and I think I gave them a fair amount of thought, and I think I was more realistic with how I survive. I'm not entirely sure, and like I said in the last video, I'm not going to hear your comments for a while, so I'm just going to... I know that I left a lot less 10 out of 10s than originally planned, because I believe I said, oh, Chucky, I think 10 out of 10, I could kick his ass. And carry out I originally thought 10 out of 10, but no, no. After going through some, you know, talking about it a bit, I realized that, no, I don't think I would have survived. So, getting on with the new bunch. Who should we go with next? I, God damn it, you're a son of a bitch, you know that? Anyway, next on the list, I want to say Leatherface. Now, Leatherface... Again, remember the rules. Rule number one, they're actively trying to kill us. Rule number two, we're not going to have any information on these fucks. And rule number three, if possible, family will be involved. So you can't just run away and say, fuck the other survivors. It'll be people you know and love getting attacked too. So those are the rules summed up pretty quickly. I would say with him, it feels kind of situational, but I feel like he'd be the person to put us in the situation. Like if you're driving near his place, I think he has like, Man, was it in the movies that he broke down the vehicles, or was that just pure unlucky coincidence? Because if it's unlucky coincidence, then... Luck be a lady tonight. Please, don't have my car break down in front of the fucking person that skins people. But, like I said in the last episode, we're gonna be dealing with some horror movie bullshit as well, so chances are, yes, our car would crash in front of his place. How long do you think they'll wait to attack us. I think they give you like a couple of minutes before they actually try to kill you. But I'm like, it's been a while since I've seen the movie, but okay. He's not, I want to say he's a stealthy guy. He's kind of a big lumbering asshole, but the thing is, he's got this big ass chainsaw that, well, let's face it, will fuck us up. I want to say, chances of survival, I feel like a 3 out of 10. Like, think about it, we're on his turf, he knows the place pretty well. Fucker's got a chainsaw too, like, what, what do we have to defend ourselves? Nothing much, the, the best case scenario is if we run the fuck away. And you know what? We're not, like, I said that there's gonna be some horror movie bullshit. I am not doing the whole fucking, oh, we trip on nothing bullshit. Fuck that trope. I think I made a clear last video, but just to, you know, clarify that that's not gonna be an issue. Fuck it. You know how to run, right? I assume everybody knows how to fucking run. What is the rule when you're running away from a villain? Do not look back. Never look back when you're being chased. Get the fuck out of Dodge. The thing is, this guy is a lumbering jackass. I just like, I don't know if we'll be, a are you guys not caring if I'm like over here? Do you just say, oh, you're, you're crossing the line, you fucked off? Huh, interesting. Now what was I saying? I, I wanna say, yeah, three out of 10. It, like, I don't think I could take him in a fight. My best chance is running away which honestly i i don't know how good i would do in that because if i think about it didn't he have like traps set around his place too so if you even if you tried to run away you'll get caught right like it's been a while since i've seen it it's just, i know that uh, there's no way i'm gonna be able to fight the fuck so i say three out of ten and that's being nice <laughs> that's being kind of nice if i want to think about it uh I mean, we're not even discussing, like, who's with me. Is it family? Is it friends? If, if it's either or, though, I'm still not, like... I would like to protect those I love. So, I would think that if my friends were with me, if my family were with me, I'd drop that 3 to a 1, because I'd probably try to 
protect them and end up getting killed. God damn it. You guys fucked me over. Does that, make, does that make you feel good, my friends? Knowing that I'm going to die because some psychopath of fucking chainsaw cut me in half and ripped off my face? Anyway. Leatherface, 3 out of 10. 1 out of 10 if friends and family are involved. And since I said they kind of are, yeah, I'm just dead. I'm fucking dead. Now, who should be next? Uh, and you know what? I'm going to go with Megan because I know we need some more modern horror movies because if I just keep on saying old ass movies, it's going to be it's going to be a little eh, you know, you're you're showing your age, you fuck. You're showing your age. So we're going to go with Megan. I seen this with my friends. I like when it came out. It was a good movie. Survival, though. Ha. Um, let's see. Like I said, we're kind of part of the main characters. We can't just run away, so it's going to be a bitch that we have to deal with. She's going to want to try to kill us. The thing is, looking at her, you probably think, oh, man, it's just a fucking doll. I got this. I'm going to survive. I hate to tell you, buddy, but she's got titanium or some bullshit in her exoskeleton or endoskeleton or whatever the fuck you call it. So, um... Yeah, you're not going to physically be able to kick... Well, I guess the one lady did kick her ass, but she had to use, like, a different fucking robot. You're going to need something heavy to hurt that bitch. I mean... It like, you know, with the whole scream scenario, like, it depends on location, like, what's going on, too. Like, there's factors that might assist you, and there's, like, stuff that would screw you over. So, say that you're all alone, which chances are you're probably going to be all by yourself. I mean, I also know that I've added, like, the semi-rule that the first encounter with the villain won't kill us off the bat, but that could mean that we know of the person's existence and not that they're trying to kill us. And if we're close to the main characters, then we can know about the project and be like, Oh, hey, the doll's actually working. Good for you. And not be any wiser. So we're kind of disadvantaged, you know, with that shit, too. I think if it starts attacking us out of nowhere, we're fucked. Like, I'm pretty sure we're fucked with this one. I'm, I mean, at first I was all like, oh, it's going to be like Chucky 2.0 because it's another fucking living doll. But then I remembered what it's made of and... You know, I don't think I could pick this one and yeet it into the fireplace, not without getting my arm broke. Or, you know, worse, without dying. So, how would we be able to defeat this one if we could? Or how would we be able to survive? Because, you know, if we... If... God damn. Fuck. Shot me in the face. What a bitch. Because, I think if I recall correctly, the doll wanted the kid. The, the doll just wants a kid, and in doing so, she wants to protect her from anything. So, do you think if we're not a threat to the kid, the doll will be cool with us? I don't know, because we're, we're a part of the project, and she could kind of conceive us as being a threat, too. I don't suppose we could talk to the doll and, you know, reason our way out of it. I mean, then again, I did say that one of the rules is they are trying to kill us, but hey, that doesn't mean that we can't. That doesn't mean that we can't talk our way out of the situation. Do I think it'll work? <laughs> no. I don't know if it will work. I, I highly doubt it will work, but we could always try talking. Roll a nat 20. See if you win. Ah, it's a nat 1. I'm fucked. <laughs> or hey, nat 20. Yeah, she, she lets you live. In other words, it's a either or situation. I want to say physically, if we were to try to fight her, one out of ten. Especially if she is trying to kill us. So yeah, we're kind of fucked there. However, if we are able to reason with her. I'd say it kind of boosts us to five out of ten. Like 50-50. Like she could keep her word and leave us alone. But then again, if we do anything that she sees as a threat. Or if we hurt the kid in any way, like emotionally or some shit like that, then we're fucked. Hmm. Who else? Who else? Who's next? I mean, if I want to be technical, Saw is getting a new movie, but that's... That, fuck it. We'll, we'll go with Saw. I'll try to think of someone else while I'm thinking of Saw. 
This one's going to be tricky. Because this motherfucker's going to put me through several death traps. I don't think I need to tell everybody how smart I am. Because I think everyone could pick up how intelligent I could be. You could tell that it's probably going to kill me. So, yeah, I'm probably going to die with this guy. I don't even think I could fight him because I don't think he's going to give me the opportunity to fight him. Like, I would have to survive his bullshit. That's the problem. Good evening. Now, let's Good see. Evening, also, it'd be kind of... What would be my ironic trap? Because technically, Fine. I think everybody get, like got an ironic trap with them or some yeah. bullshit like that. If I recall correctly. So, I'm kind of curious on what mine would be. Hello, Shadow. Your challenge is to make a recording of one's video without any mistakes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Are, are you are you the best Lost voice we have to mimic the puppet? Are, are you really the best voice we have? Can, can we like find something else? Like just a tweak here? No, no, you are. Shit. Well, I refuse your challenge. Go fuck yourself. Wait, wait, wait! You can't do that. You have, you have to accept that's the rules. Look, I, I know I'm not gonna I'm not gonna survive. I'm not gonna play by your fucking game. Fuck off. Like, if okay, getting through one video recording on one go without messing up, do you honestly think I could do that? Do you honestly think I could do that? I know I'm gonna die, so I'm not even gonna play your game. Go fuck yourself. But you don't know how I'm gonna kill you, like you don't even give it a chance. Oh, all right, all right, I'll bite. How are you gonna kill me if I mess up? Just just tell me, are you gonna make the video like spit out glass in my face? You're gonna blow up the whole room? What like what? Every time you make a mistake, I'm gonna add a rattle sneak into the room. You're up to 20. That's it? I mean Oh, you son of a bitch. Hold up. You fucking knew you were a fucking ticket for the dead, you fucking pieces of shit. Do you? Hey asshole, why don't you take this guy? You won't for sure he fits your anyway. fucking game. Why am I getting 21? What? Well, you know what? Out of curiosity, what's the big deal with the snakes? You not see, like they're gonna attack- wait, are they gonna attack me? No like, okay, you sir, fill the room so with like a bunch of snakes, but what if I just go to the other side of the room and fuck off? I made sure to aggravate each one by smacking them with a stick. So, when I throw them in the room, there are- they're out for blood, specifically your blood. And before you ask, I showed them a picture of you and then I just smacked them with a stick, so now they associate you with pain. That's why they're gonna try to kill you. Uh, what? You? Why? Why snakes specific? Like, I don't have a thing with snakes. If you wanted to be ironic, you would have thrown fucking spiders at me or some shit. God damn, you know what? Good just for that, Good I'm gonna survive your shit, Such like, just out of pure spike. I know I said probably 1 out of 10, at least I hinted at 1 out of 10. Now it's 5 out of 10. Okay, Fuck you, you I'm gonna survive out of spike. Is Dick. That what your pawn brokers is really about? Also, I'm getting tired of switching between the voices. It's a, it's not a pain in the ass, but it's kind of a pain in the ass, so fuck off. And, I'm sure and yes, he is right. Right about now, be like... 21 so you should show respect yeah 21 snakes in a room i assume a small well, room right the tiniest room that i could find specifically for you yes undesired sir that's still the best voice we got for you right like i mean it's it's okay it does it does the illusion but seriously that's the best we got what yeah okay goodbye damn oh well it was something added on like very last minute I, I think it was a fun little addition bucket so let's go back into survival L like i said maybe out of pure spite i boost my one my maybe one to a five you know just because there's always ways of 50 i think he gives you like a good chance to get out you just need to be smart but the thing is those death traps mainly make people panic and people don't do well when they're panicking and i am in that category. I'm not too great at decision making when I'm panicked. And that's also assuming that we're not going to get drugged by anything too. I don't think he would drug people who never use drugs. I think he only drugs people who have problems with drugs. Is that is that a thing or am I making that shit up? 
I, I think I might be making that shit up. <laughs> it's been a while well, since I've seen any of his movies, and it's obviously showing. Uh, huh. So, um, Jigsaw. 5 out of 10. We have a chance on surviving, but we, as long as we keep our heads, I think we'd be fine. And nobody bring up that head trap from one of those movies. That fucking gave me nightmares when I first saw that shit. Like, yeah, it's such a horrible way to die. Then you think that you have to survive other horrible ways to die. Like, it's kind of lowering the, <laughs> how I think I'm going to survive. I mean, uh, let's just say 5 out of 10. Just be good sports. Everybody agree. <laughs> okay. I think I've been going for more like physical fighters. So how about we get like uh how about we get something new, something that we can't just beat up. Yeah, you know what? How about a ghost? Yeah, let's go with a ghost. Uh what ghost should we go for? Hmm. You know, a part of me wanted to go with Sadako from the ring, but I felt I feel like that's too fucking obvious. I, I feel like that's just way too fucking obvious. Oh, I mean, we will discuss that eventually, but not not that one, not now. Who would we choose? Um, Candyman. Yeah, we'll go with him. We'll go with Candyman. I don't recall the movie too well, but I think it's like a Bloody Mary thing. All you have to do is. Say the name three times, and well, I realized I almost fucked up and said it a third time. Is it three times in a row or just three times in general? That's my question. I would assume in a row, kind of, kind of like the whole Bloody Mary thing. But the thing is, um, look, realistically, like even without the whole discussion thing, I try not to say names three times in a row. If you want to make a blame for anything, blame the whole Bloody Mary thing. Like, I avoid shit like that. So if someone says, oh, you could summon this ghost slash demon by saying the name three times. Guess what? I'm not going to say the fucking name three times. Not, not even as a joke. Not even as a fucking joke. The point is, I don't want to play with fire. You know, I don't want to risk it. Than human blood. Is it so fake? Oh yeah, it's probably fake. But this is not what happened to me. Is there a chance it might be I real? Don't know. Not gonna test those waters, buddy boy. <laughs> so, movie-wise, would I survive? A part of me wants to say ten automatically because I know that the only way that I could summon him is lie. through name. But since this is gonna be some horror movie bullshit i can guarantee you that somebody nearby me is gonna say the name three times summon the fucker and i be caught in the fucking middle so i think i might be screwed in that situation because well rule of thumb you can't punch a ghost and i did say i'm gonna bring in something that i can't just fight or you know attempt to fight or try to run away i mean i think the ghost can follow you like it will fuck with you my question though is how much is it going to be fucking with us because if it's going to give me some breathing room the flowers die i could see myself getting it to the water. nearest priest to help me get rid of the evil ghost that's basically how i think of solving this issue like go to a priest get somebody who deals with ghosts to get rid of the fucker but that could also mean that they die in the process and you know you're Left with an even more pissed ghost. Shit. Yeah, you know what? I think, like, out of a scale of 1 to 10, how well I'll survive this, I'm probably going to give it, like, a... Uh, I don't feel too comfortable with 50-50. 50-50, if I knew I could defend myself, I'd say, oh, yeah, 50-50. But I'm not too sure. So I'm going to say, I'd say 4 out of 10. For all ten, that, does that sound like accurate enough? Like it's a ghost that's probably toying with me, so it's probably just giving me the illusion that I can survive. So I'll say four out of ten, just because there's like a slight chance. But I highly doubt it, you know. But that was him. I didn't mention Bloody Mary, which I know you're saying. Oh wait, that's an urban legend. This urban legend got a movie. Yeah, I seen it. I didn't care too much for it. 
I get the feeling it's gonna fall under the same roof. Like, it's gonna be the same thing. Like, yeah, I'm not gonna say the name three times. But at the same time, somebody else might. But hey, with that urban legend, don't we have to be in front of a mirror or in, like the bathroom or something? So, <laughs> I think we're gonna be okay. Like, I think we have a better chance of surviving. Like, am, like how many times have you went to the bathroom and somebody barged in, look at the mirror and just chanted a name three times? Tell me, how many times that happened to you? Because I could tell you how many times that happened to me. It happened, it never happened. Then again, we're in a fucking horror movie, so that never is not gonna be existed for long. It's probably gonna happen during the event, but God, that would suck. Imagine taking a shit when this happens. Like, that's gotta be the like the worst way to go is on the fucking toilet. I would rather have anything else happen to me except dying on the fucking toilet. Give me some dignity. Some, like, respect, please. I know you're gonna kill me, but at least, at least let me stand up and pull up my pants, and then you could kill me while I'm at least looking you in the eye. Do not kill me on the goddamn toilet. I beg of you. And then, you know, it's gonna kill me anyway, because it don't give a fuck. That will be a bitch to deal with. I'm just trying to, just trying to live, and people are summoning demons in my goddamn bathroom. I better learn to hide my true nature. I think model. maybe the, the whole thing Ross thing would work too. What about my I, I think in the movie you had to break the mirror. Was it break the mirror or was it something else? It's been a while since I've seen that movie. Uh, survival rating though. What would I give her? Well, you know what? Considering that we have to be in a bathroom and considering that somebody has to say the name, I highly doubt that's going to happen with us. So I want to say we're in the 8 out of 10. I was hoping there was Mainly because on the off but... chance she does get summoned, we still have to survive an angry ghost. And you can't punch the bitch. What type you can't of punch the bitch. You running? And then again, I do have a cross on me. But then again, when, I mean, if it's in a bathroom, it's probably going to be my bathroom, which is, you know, in my house. But I don't really carry it around with me unless I feel like Yes, nurse yeah, you know, some okay, bad help. mojo is going on, and I'm so sorry. yeah, you know, it's, know Dr. it's a once in a blue moon kind of thing, so, I mean, if I'm aware of the situation, because I did say we at least get one encounter, I was hoping there yeah, was yeah, 8 out of 10 here, feels but... right, if I know what's going on, yeah, if I sorry. find the motherfucker who summoned the bitch in so my bathroom, I'm giving them the backhand, you don't go into my house and summon ghosts. have a solution. France, that's not me joking i'm serious don't come into my house and summon ghosts everybody who ever joked about bringing me a fucking ouija board do you mean? they met the back of my hand upside their head i don't fuck with ghosts all right i don't fuck with ghosts now where's the hospital that's my golden rule don't go fucking with the spirit don't go toying with the paranormal you want to know why because you can't hurt them you have to get Everything some fucking bullshit to, to get rid of them, and, you know, God forbid, you can't get that shit, or God forbid Where they stick with you. It's the large Trust me, the dealing with a ghost ain't fun if it's me. And God, not key. stress is enough. It opens a small Do not piss off street. a demon. The the hospital. You don't want to know how hard it is way, to remove a goddamn demon. You truly don't want to know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, painful. Painful memories. Especially because I didn't... In I didn't fucking engage in it. No, I gave the fucking warning. But nobody listened to me. And now I had to deal with the fucking goddamn demon. Everybody's fucking lucky that they came out unscathed. But damn. What did I say? Do not play with the fucking Ouija board at 3 a.m. And what did you do? You played with a fucking Ouija board at 3 a.m. But Anthony, it's so fun. You should try it. You should try it. We we got some movement. Yeah, you got some fucking movement. I had to deal with it. We still have the fucking shadow in the living room because of you fucked. Granted, the shadow thing in the living room is fine. It don't do much. Like, it once in a blue moon pops up and it's just sitting on the couch. It don't do anything. That one I'm somewhat fine with. Like, if it was a problem, I would have dealt with it by now, but it's not a problem, so 
bucket. Welcome, Shadow Monster. Mikasa is too casa. Welcome. Just stay there. Seriously, if you just stay there. I might just forget about you entirely. That man was determined to murder. Chill out there. You almost died. The next thing I know, it moved to the other fucking couch. I'm like, God damn it. Okay, it's just, it's on the couches. Fucking coward. It's fine. It only pops up like once in a fucking blue moon. It's not even a problem. It's even like, even when you notice it, it's like there for a nanosecond and then it's like gone. So I'm cool with this. <sighs> Only the strongest Does it make survived. me happy that I got brought here, but fuck it. Is that all you think about? I'm the Speaking of which, there was also another time where, well, and I don't give a fuck to, to give you the story, to, to give you the story, I was in my room, was relaxing, and my cat, my, my cat, he decided to go crawling under my bed, which, you know, for a cat, that's, that's pretty common. Next thing I fucking knew, my cat bolted out of my room like a bat out of hell, and I'm like, what the fuck's your problem, man? Okay, that was weird, but it got weirder. So the next three days, my cat absolutely refused to go into my room, which is just slightly weird because that's, you know, if you have a cat, you know that your room is technically their room, and he sleeps with me every night. So him not wanting to be in my room every time that I brought him in, he would dash out. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? What happened? What's worse is that after that, I started getting like this bad vibe, like right underneath my bed. Like something's like underneath my fucking bed, and I'm like, what the fuck is that feeling? Like you know, like because that feeling is something or someone is near you, and when you turn, you see them like right behind you, like that kind of feeling. There we go. That's perfectly describing it. Well, safe to say that I didn't like this shit. You invaded my room. You scared my cat. My cat now refuses to come into my room, and I can tell you right how much that pissed me off. So, like in every horror movie there is, I did the one thing that everybody fucking does, and I decided to look under my bed. I had my cross with me. I was ready to drag this little bitch out of my bed and kick its ass. You want to know something? Anticlimactic, there's nothing there. But I still, like, I had the feeling that there was something, so this is what I did. I told it to get the fuck out of my room, and it's not welcome. Not word for word, because, you know, when you're... Talking to a spirit, if you believe in that shit. You don't want to challenge them, but at the same time, you don't want to be a walking doormat. Like, you have to put your foot down and say, get the fuck out, without saying, get the fuck out. And believe it or not, oh, there's a lot more of you fucks shit. After that, the feeling went away and my cat came back. I was a happy guy. It made me happy. Still didn't like the experience, though. And you motherfuckers are... Getting on my last nerve and the game froze. God damn it. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take care. Please like and subscribe and have a happy and safe Halloween.